six pounds a pair prescription glasses from Select Specs, proud sponsors of the Wonderbirds and the case of the dead agent. Get yours at selectspecs.com. Previously on Wonderbirds Investigates, Dean Gaffney, the guest of the show, arrived and announced his agent had been murdered. And he had been accused of the crime. Something he strenuously denies. It turns out the dead agent is Piers Roscoe of the PR agency. Somebody each of the Wonderbirds denies knowing. Dean reveals that he'd had an argument with Piers, claiming he'd cheated him out of some money. Then someone remembers that our very own D had once upon a time also been cheated by an agent to the tune of 50,000 pounds. It turns out that agent is none other than... Piers Roscoe, the very agent that D just two minutes previously denied knowing. Would you buy it if I said he'd slipped my mind? What the hell? Worth a try. Why did you say you didn't know him? I just did. Uh, you must have had a reason. When Dean said... My agent to be murdered. I was worried people would find a way to connect me to him. 50,000 ways, I would say. And blame me. Is there anything to connect you to him now? After all, it's been 13 years. 2008, wasn't it? When he cheated you? Yes. But the truth is, for the last 13 years, I've hounded him relentlessly. Every week I've sent him letters, I've, I've made calls, all threatening to expose him for the charlatan I know he is. Well, I can see why you're worried. We might think you killed him. Oh, but I didn't, I swear it. Well, when was the last time you saw him? The night he died. And you didn't say anything? Would you have? But they're trying to pin it on Dean. Dean could look after himself. If they knew about me seeing him, they'd, they'd have me banned to rights quicker than an episode of Murder, she wrote. Why did you go to see him after all this time? It's not important. Oh, I think it is. There'd only be two reasons I'd want to see someone who cheated me out of 50,000. And that would be either to get the money back. With interest. With interest or to kill them. It happened over 13 years ago. If I was going to kill him, I'd have done it long before now. Yet, you went to see him. D, you need to explain. Start from the beginning. For a start, how did he cheat you out of 50,000? Piers Roscoe was very plausible. Did any of you ever meet him? No. 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 He was good-looking, smooth, smart dresser, always in designer clothes, could charm the hind legs off a donkey. He had this way of making you feel you were the only person in the room. Oh, Dee, when I see you, it's just it's like you're the only person in the room. Maybe that's because you were the only person in the room. <laughs> He said he remembered me from London's Burning. How, weren't you Donald's mother in London's Burning? Yes, that's right. Oh, I'm amazed you remember this. So am I. Dee, I'm about to produce uh, a new movie. What's it about? Um... It's, um, it's the story of a, of a washed out country and western singer who starts a relationship with a journalist. Uh, a ship revitalizes both his career and his life. And you know what? You would be great as the journalist. Oh, does it have a title? Yeah, yeah. Um, Achy Breaky Heart. The weeks went by. And there was no news. It was, it was just like our conversation had never happened. Then out of the blue, I get a call. D. Hi, yeah. Uh, listen, we're nearly there with the movie. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it, there's, just, there's just one little hiccup. Uh, what's that? We're 50 grand short, <clears throat> but you know, we'll get it. 
Short? How do you mean short? Short for what? The, uh, the executive producers won't come on board and, until we secure the major talent. You know, I mean, we have you, obviously. Uh, but Jeff Bridges hasn't signed yet. Jeff Bridges? Yeah, yeah. His agent won't sign until we bank a 50 grand security bond with him. It's a sort of play or pay contract. But you know, I'm not worried. We'll get it. I just hope we get it in time. In time for what? Well, you know, Jeff's in demand. He won't hang around forever. I mean, I've already put in all the cash I had, otherwise I'd do it. You finance the film? Oh, yeah, yeah, just to get it off the ground. I thought we were there with it, you know, but... Hold on, sorry, Dee, I have another call coming in. Yeah? Oh, oh, hi. When he comes back to me, he tells me it was Jeff Bridges' agent. And you fell for it? Stupidly, yes. <sighs> Jeff Bridges' agent, putting on the pressure. <laughs> we have until tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, they're probably bluffing. And he obviously knows all about bluffing. When Jeff Bridges signs, then you get the real cash? Yeah, an initial payment of 20 million. As soon as he signs? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Then another 10 mil on the first day of principal photography. I'll lend you it. No, no, no. Well, why not? Oh, D. I couldn't. Well, if you're sure they'll come up with the money. Oh, I'm sure about that, yeah. Do you want to see the paperwork? Did he show you it? I said I trusted him. So he just took your 50 grand and ran. Yeah. And what about the film? There was no film. Oh, but there was. It came out a year later. It was about a washed up country and Western singer. And he did start a relationship with a journalist and Jeff Bridges won an Oscar. But it wasn't called A Breaky Heart. It was called Crazy Heart. It came out in 2009. Mr. Piers Roscoe had obviously had wind of it and made his own version to con you out of the cash. Well, it worked. You still haven't explained why you went to see him. Well, I didn't know it, but he'd kept all the threatening letters I'd sent him and recorded most of the calls. Oh, and I've got to admit I was not being nice. When he said he wanted to see me, I thought he must have had enough and was going to pay me back. But that wasn't it. No, he just wanted to take advantage of me. Sex? Advantage? Yes. And he said if I didn't let him, he'd go public with the letters and the calls and everybody would realise I was just some mad bitch and I'd never work again. So you attacked him? No, I swear. When I left him, he was very much alive. Get out. Get out. Just get out. You should never have gone to his office in the first place. That was a big mistake. Oh, I know that now. And if... How do you know I went to his office? I never said where I'd met him. Um, I just assumed it was there. No, you didn't. Oh, just drop it. No. It's not important. How did you know I went to his office? Come on, Sherry, there must be a reason. You were there, weren't you, Sherry? You were at his office. Find out what happens in the next episode of The Case of the Dead Agent, sponsored by Select Specs. The prescription's really good, considering it's done online. I wasn't expecting to be able to see so much. For six pounds, you really can't go wrong. That's right. Six pounds a pair. Prescription glasses at selectspecs.com.